All right, the next thing that uh, we need to make is our homemade birdie. Now, you can get birdies, obviously, from the store. You can get all this stuff from the store, but again, Mr. Arbogast and I are trying to figure out some ways that uh, our kids, if, if they don't have all of this stuff at home, they can uh, make some stuff right at home with some stuff that they already have, goods that you already have. You don't have to go out and buy everything. But here's what a normal birdie would look like. This is one from Gopher, and, uh, man, it's, it's a nice birdie. It flies great. You know, and, and so what we had to do is figure out how do we make a birdie that'll fly and with some of the ingredients at home. So remember, uh, most of us have a water bottle at home, and before we play badminton, we always want to hydrate. So I have my water bottle right here. I started looking at that, and I said, man, it looks like a birdie. So I just kind of cut my paper off a little bit. And what's kind of nice, you don't have to really measure too much because all these water bottles have these little ribs in them. So I chose this middle rib right here. And I just kind of take, now what works really nice, it's kind of a two-edged deal right there, guys. You got to be careful because you want to have a good sharp razor blade to do this, but you also want to take your time, not rush things so you get hurt. You know, again, that parental involvement sometimes is good if you're younger. So I basically will cut the water bottle like this, okay? Now, most of us at home got a little bouncy ball. Now the birdie, it's got some weight in it. When it sails, it comes back down, right? So we wanted to figure out how we could do that. So this is the bird I made last night. And you can see it's got the bouncy ball in there. And all we're going to do is we're going to take our bouncy ball Put it on there. Now, I use yellow tape just because the birdies were yellow. So, I did about three quarters of the tape. I came around. Because it's round, it won't be perfect probably on your cup. But I just kind of came down every once in a while. It doesn't have to be totally perfect. I folded over the tape. But I did want to leave half of the, our bouncy showing. And I did something like that right there to get me started. And then I kind of squeezed that in. And it's amazing. It, it now what I did is I tried to emulate a bird here. How do I, how do I make a bird out of a, 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 a top of a, a water bottle? So what I did, again, we're going to do that old tape ripping deal. And I get a couple. I try to keep them about the same size. Now how did I decide what size to make them? Really about how big these ribs are. Okay, and so what I do is I start up top and I just went around and then I went around again and what's nice is those ribs on that water bottle kind of give you an area to do and I just kind of went around again works out pretty good Yeah, I guess I did three of them, didn't I, guys? And I went around one more time. Now I'm leaving some space in there, as you can see. And I go through. And I made the three outside here. And they're gonna look, it's going to look pretty cool when we're all done, guys. So I got something like this to start with. And then as you can see on my good bird here that I made, I go, uh, so I go some horizontals and I go some verticals. I think that gives it a little, uh, you know, it holds together, I think, you know, because we're going to beat the dog snot out of uh, these. And then, so like I take this and I went a little longer this time. And then I come inside my bottle and I just follow that right down in. And that's where you maybe you want to uh, measure your tape out a little bit. But if not, you know, I just kind of stick it down inside there a little. And then so we make a bunch of ribs. And we're going to end up crisscrossing. And as you can see on the inside bird, I didn't necessarily do the, the ones outside. But I wanted to give those verticals some stability. Okay. So once we get there, we're pretty close. You get something like this. Now if I brought it all the way down like that then I'm going to finish the bird out.
afterwards, when it's all said and done, I might take and put one more just kind of ties it all together in to our homemade birdie. So, if you're playing in the wind and this is all solid, it might not sail as well as you want. It may be a little bit heavier. It's getting heavier. This one's much lighter. Now, what I did here to give us some airflow in there, there's a couple things that I thought about you could do. One, you can take and just use like a drill, and you could drill through there, making the air holes. But what I did, is I just started like right here. You just got to be careful. I go both sides first, and then I come in here. Cut that. And then what I found is that tab comes up. I cut that. And now I have my slit in my birdie. And I just repeated that process a whole bunch of times. And now I have the birdie that I need. Now what I did on mine is I did keep this bottom one uh, solid just to, to, just to give it uh, some strength there. And you can see... I got a pretty decent birdie there. I, you know, I, I suppose I could cut this top off if I want. We're going to see how she flies uh, for real in, in a game here in a minute. And maybe we want to cut that off. Uh, maybe you don't. Uh, uh, but boy, uh, it, it comes out pretty dang similar. Drops, it plays. Kind of fun. Now, we have a homemade racket and a homemade birdie. And we're almost ready to go. And I really, I took a stick, a little bit of duct tape, a water bottle, a bouncy ball, uh, a little bit of patience, a little bit of time, and I think we've come up with something really fun for ourselves at home.